Throughout my career as a bartender or cocktail developer, I've tried some weird flavour combinations. So today's going to be a fun one, because I've scoured the internet, Google, TikTok, YouTube, all of them, trying to find weird flavour combos that actually work. And today I'm going to be going through all of them. It's going to be my first time trying them out and seeing if they actually work or if it's a load of baloney. Number one, Marmite and chocolate. Now I love chocolate, obviously, who doesn't? I hate Marmite. If you've never had Marmite before, it's like a, the yeast extract it splits the British nation. You either love it or you hate it. I happen to hate it, okay? So this should be interesting. Um, you know, it's worth noting that the science of flavour it's about 75 to 95% aroma that kind of builds that flavour. We can only taste five different things where everything else is built up in our head. So if things, I think these combinations work on the basis of the smells go together quite well, which means that the taste should also follow. But we'll see. I might taste, smells horrible. Um, I'm not sure what chocolate to use. I got milk chocolate and dark chocolate. My thinking is with dark chocolate, all right, it's a little bit more bitter, it's drier. So maybe the yeast brings something together, I don't know. Milk chocolate's a little bit sweeter. Would you have milk and marmite? Unsure. I'm gonna try the milk chocolate. There we are, if we're gonna do it, we might as well do it properly, right? There we go, chocolate, marmite. It smells just like marmite. Not much chocolate there. I did use quite a lot. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's see. Oh. That's straight up numb. Not sure where I found this combination. I think it was on like a BuzzFeed article. No idea what they were talking about. That right there. That tastes disgusting. Moving on to something hopefully a little bit more nicer. We got pesto and banana. Oh, what? Is that gonna work? I don't know. I love bananas and I love pesto. So I can't see this one being as disgusting as the Marmite and chocolate. I actually found this one on a YouTube video called Taste Testing Weird Flavor Combinations and the science behind them. They just dip the banana in. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Dip the banana in. There we are. I'll go with this. It doesn't smell right. Mm. Mm. It's not horrible. Um, it sounds a lot more horrible than it actually tastes. Does it work? Kinda? I'm gonna I'm rate that a four out of 10 though, cause it's still, it's a bit weird. That's getting a four out of 10, that one. Tried it, a four out of 10, that's all I can say. Next, let's stick with the theme, banana. This time, banana and mayonnaise. This was from another video. Bizarre food combinations, that strangely works, something like that. Once again, love banana, love mayonnaise being sustainable and all, trying to fight food waste. I'm just gonna use the opposite side of the banana we've just used. That's, oh. It, it looks quite suspect, I'm not gonna lie. It smells like mail, let's give it a go. No, no, it don't work. You know, I was just checking. I was just checking then. I've seen this on a few videos, not just one video, but a few of them. And people are saying, oh yeah, it does actually work. It strangely works. No, it doesn't. Where are they getting this information from? Banana and mayonnaise, it doesn't work. It's very disappointing. I thought, love mayonnaise, love bananas. I could be onto something big here. I could be on something great. No. It doesn't work. Maybe I'm getting the ratios wrong. It don't work. Leave it at that. Let's rate that one. 
2 out of 10. Did not work. Marmite and chocolate, don't think I rated that. That's a straight up 1 out of 10. Horrible. Hopefully we're going to get to something good now. You know, I'll bring you some good news. I want to bring you that, that thing that works. This time, it's peanut butter and pickles. I can see the science, alright? This is a little bit nutty. Well, it's a lot nutty. But it's sweet, very sweet. The pickles, they're very acidic. You know, thinking about how you build flavour and balance a little bit of acid with a little bit of sweet. Sweet and sour works great. So when you've got something really sweet and something really sour, it could work, you know, I look forward to it. If I can get this jar open, there we go. Once again, we're just going to dip this in. See what we got. Oof. There we go. Peanut butter and pickles. Does it work? Does it taste nice? You know what? I'm not mad at that. Mm. Actually, don't taste too bad. You know, I think it, you've got to get the ratio right. Just a little bit of peanut butter, not too much. Pickle's definitely going to overwhelm it, so just a little bit of peanut butter, but yeah, I'll go in for a third. Mm. Actually, taste all right. I'm pleasantly surprised with that. Hey, okay. round of applause. About time. What are we on? Four flavour combinations in, we finally find one that oddly works. Brilliant stuff. Mm. Can't argue with that. Eight. I'm giving that an eight out of ten. Moving on to one I don't have high hopes with. Watermelon and mustard. Does it go together? Does it work? Will it taste nice? Now here's the thing with this one. I believe it's meant to be a certain type of mustard, which this is not. This is Dijon mustard. So, wrong type of mustard. Once again, don't have high hopes, and I really don't like mustard. Mm. Oh, I put way too much mustard on that way too much it doesn't not work right you got that kick that zing from the mustard and then once again a bit of sweetness a bit of refreshing from the watermelon it's much like when you make a cocktail or a drink any drink and you mix things like mint or cucumber with something like ginger you know you got a bit of a kick a bit of a, a bit of a punch and then you've got some sweetness, some refreshing to bring it down. So the two balance each other out. They contrast, they balance. Um, is it for me? No, it's not. I don't like mustard. You know, I'm not even a massive fan of watermelon, really. I'll have it if it's there, but it's not my first fruit choice. Um, rating. But, but does it work? I can see people liking that. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Not for me, but it kind of works. Moving on, we got Fanta and chocolate ice cream. I've heard good things about this. This was like a TikTok one. I've seen lots of people stitching the TikTok, trying it out, mixing Fanta with chocolate ice cream. Everyone said it was nice. High quality chocolate as well. Thought if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I'm thinking, maybe it will work. You know, chocolate orange is very popular. That's basically what it is, right? Chocolate orange, just in a different format. I think the bit that's really thrown it off is the fizziness, is the, the ice cream with the fizziness. But then you've got things like, what is it? Coke floats, which work, so I'm excited. Cheers. Oh. Whoa, well, well, wow. Look who came to play, eh? Seven, we'll taste in number seven. I think we've just found a 10. Mm. 
not only does it work, but it works well. Not only does it work, it, it's delicious. Hey, look at that. It quite, looks quite delicious as well. Big foam on top of it. I think maybe I just got the ratio there. Perfect. Mm. Bit of fan off, bit of orange, bit of chocolate, a little bit of fizz. Lifts it all up. Oh yeah. I might have another one of those later. Okay, now. 10 out of 10. Oh. If there's any from this so far that you need to try, this one, this is the one. This is, um, this is on another level. This is something special. This is a marvelous confectionery worth of chocolate with hints of these bubbly, Fanta, little orange pops of flavour. Poetic words for a poetic flavour. Now, before we get on to the last one, I've got to be that guy. I really do. If you're still watching this video, if you liked it, then why not actually like it? Don't hide in the shadows. Don't just watch it from behind your screen, not letting me know. Like it, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. It means the world to me. I really do appreciate it. So please do indulge my self-belief and give this video a little thumbs up, a little comment and so and so. For the last one we have avocado and chocolate. Is it a flavour pairing that's going to work? Is this weird combination of flavours of bitter, sweet, delicious, rich chocolate with creamy, oily, mushy avocado, are they going to work together? Let's find out. Avocado and chocolate, will it work? Let's try it. Okay. All right, I don't hate that. I think a little bit less avocado. Maybe mush it on like a little, like a paste, right? Like a butter. Almost, there we go. Just try it like that, a little bit. I think I went a bit heavy on the avocado at first. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Eureka, avocado and chocolate, that works. I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10, because personally, I don't think I'll be having it much. Chocolate on its own is better than avocado with chocolate, but does that mean it don't work? No, it don't. Yes, it does. It works. Nine out of 10, I'm giving it. Maybe like a cake. If you're baking a cake, maybe try and get some like avocado in there instead of um, oil. I don't know if that'll work. Practically, don't know how that'll work, but, or maybe, maybe a smoother. Yeah, smoother. Avocado works great in smoothie because it kind of works as like an emulsifier. Keeps everything together, all the oils and all the fat in it. So maybe scoop of avocado and then chocolate powder, blend that up with a load of milk. I can see that working. I can. Oh, let's wrap this up in a nice little conclusion, shall we? Flavour tasting of today, what did we try? Seven, eight, maybe nine or ten different flavours. Out of those ones, most of them was bologna. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Just because it's on TikTok, don't mean it's true. Just because it's on YouTube, don't mean it's correct you know you try them out for yourself see what you think maybe you've got a different palette to me maybe you like them but my professional opinion on the matter out of all these ones that oh excuse me that's from the coke that little burp i do apologize as i was saying out of all the ones we tried they all supposedly did work i only thought really free that worked the pickle and the peanut butter worked, the avocado and chocolate worked, and the Fanta and the ice cream worked. Out of all of those, the only one which I'll be raving about and saying, you've got to try it, is the Fanta. Fanta and chocolate ice cream, I think that is. That's on another level. That worked, oh, my voice went, oh, oh. That's on another level. That worked brilliantly. Try that one. If any, try that one. And with that being said, 
Do leave in the comments if you've tried any of these already and what you thought. I'd love to get a look, you know, a little conversation going. Really kind of discover. Maybe I'm doing it wrong and maybe I need to retry them. And if you have any weird play, and if you have any weird flavor combinations that you like to try, let me know and I'd love to give them a go. Maybe in another video. Have a part two. Testing flavor combos part two. This could become like a whole thing, a whole series. Let me know.